Taliban attacks turned personal in Kabul on Wednesday as three gunmen, dressed as police, staged a deadly raid on a guest house used by United Nations aid workers. There was also a failed rocket attack against the luxury Serena Hotel, the scene of a previous strike against foreign diplomats. Wednesday's operations were meant to disrupt plans for a presidential runoff election on November the 7th, and there's likely more to come. This is Dispatch. I'm Marla Dial. Afghan police battled with Taliban fighters for more than two hours at the UN guest house before they detonated suicide vests. But six UN workers also lost their lives and several more were wounded. The Taliban attack was follow through on threats issued days earlier against anyone working on the runoff election. Security at official government facilities had been heightened in response. The Taliban have had to adapt and instead of attacking hard targets head on like the UN offices or even an armed assault against the Serena Hotel, what they did was attack the UN guest house, which is a softer target, and they used standoff weapons in their attack against the Serena. I, I think they're evolving and adjusting. I mean, it's showing that they don't have the capability to hit truly hard targets in Kabul. Meanwhile, the New York Times reported that Ahmed Wali Karzai, the brother of Afghanistan's president and a power in his own right in violent southern Afghanistan, has been on the CIA's payroll for much of the past eight years. The report raised questions about how the relationship impacts the U.S. war strategy. Ahmed Wali Karzai, who's battled corruption allegations and claims of involvement in the drug trade for years, vigorously denies taking payment from the CIA. Rumors of his ties to the agency have circulated before. But this leak comes just ahead of the presidential runoff, as Hamid Karzai also tries to shake off perceptions of corruption. The timing seems anything but coincidental. The United States hasn't been too pleased with Karzai's performance, but by leaking such information to the New York Times, this is in some sense the United States bringing pressure down on Karzai through his brother. It's a signal that the United States is willing to burn its bridges with the Afghan president if he doesn't align himself more closely with the U.S.'s current objectives to build up the authority of the central government, tackle corruption, and improve governance as part of this U.S. Hearts and Minds campaign. 